Hi, welcome back to the weekly poetry series on my channel, The Gentle Flamingo. This week we have another poem by Julian Moore, and I kind of wish I'd discovered this one before I started the weekly poetry series. It's simply called Poetry. Poetry. I too dislike it. There are things that are important beyond all this fiddle. Reading it, however, with a perfect contempt for it, one discovers in it, after all, a place for the genuine. Hands that can grasp, eyes that can dilate, hair that can rise if it must. These things are important, not because a high-sounding interpretation can be put upon them, but because they are useful. When they become so derivative as to become unintelligible, the same thing may be said for all of us, that we do not admire what we cannot understand. The bat holding on upside down, or in quest of something to eat, elephants pushing, a wild horse taking a roll, a tireless wolf under a tree, the immovable critic twitching his skin like a horse that feels a flea, the baseball fan, the statistician. Nor is it valid to discriminate against business documents and school books. All these phenomena are important. One must make a distinction, however. When dragged into prominence by half-poets, the result is not poetry. Nor till the poets among us can be literalists of the imagination, above insolence and triviality, and can present for inspection imaginary gardens with real toads in them, shall we have it. In the meantime, if you demand on the one hand the raw material of poetry in all its rawness, and that which is on the other hand genuine, you are interested in poetry. In this poem, Moore quotes the, uh, the what does she quote? She quotes the diary of Leo Tolstoy, which says, where the boundary between prose and poetry lies, I shall never be able to understand. The question is raised in manuals of style, yet the answer to it lies beyond me. Poetry is verse. Prose is not verse. Or else poetry is everything, with the exception of business documents and school books. Perhaps this quote and Moore's poem is the slightly unsatisfactory answer that my dad wanted when he asked me, what makes a poem poetry? Thank you for joining me for this week's poem. If you have a poem you'd like for me to check out, please leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you have a safe week. Stay well. And I'll be back next Wednesday with another poem. Won't you join me? The Blue Jays are having an argument today. That might make things difficult. <laughs> Finally! A little bit of a mess up in the middle, but that's okay. Should have brought some water out here.